May your heart be your guiding key. Hello everyone, it's me, Vivi, and welcome back to some Melody of Memory. So Tokyo Game Show happened in Japan. Well, to be specific, Square Enix held their own panel talking about Melody of Memory. Japan time compared to the West is a bit funky. The segment happened at 7.15am Eastern Time today, September 25th. With that said, the biggest reveal from the panel, of course, the announcement of an upcoming demo of Melody of Memory. It's set to release sometime in mid-October. Now, I was looking at the live chat. People were bringing up October 10th from whatever they were speaking during the livestream. The livestream was completely in Japanese. There was no English subtitles, by the way. But don't take that as official information. All we can rely on currently is this post from the official Twitter account. Keep your calendar clear for mid-October. We'll be dropping a Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory playable demo on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Thank you to Ataiki Mochi over on Twitter for the English translations. Thanks to this person, we get to know about more details. Like I said, no English subtitles, so we're really gonna have to rely on Twitter. The demo is apparently free, and more information will come about soon. I don't know whether or not this means it's going to be tied to a pre-order, I really hope not, but at the same time there's this little fear inside me because going off the record of public demos, you know, Square Enix, demos could spoil the game, you know, hidden files and stuff, I hope that doesn't happen. All in all, looking at this upcoming demo, it would be the third time in the series that we would receive a public demo. We had Dream Drop Distance demo before it released on the 3DS. We also got the Kingdom Hearts 3 demo, which oddly enough came out after the release of the game. If I recall correctly, the demo was released back in mid-November 2019. So hearing that Melody of Memory will be getting a demo, it sounds super and yeah, from the history of demos by Square Enix, well, looking at Kingdom Hearts 3 at least, they were all free regardless if you pre-ordered the game digitally or not. I think I'm a bit worried because of what Activision did with Crash 4's demo. You know, pre-order the game digitally and get access to the demo. I know I'm comparing two different publishers right now, but hey. With this juicy information out of the way, what was the panel about? Any new trailers? Nope, nothing of such sort. Tetsuya Nomura wasn't kidding when he tweeted that the last trailer we saw would be the final one. Now speaking of Nomura, aka the Voice of Heaven, that's what we like to call him, because he never has any sort of physical presence. Ever. If it happened, it was on a rare occasion. So for this panel, he was still the voice from above. Nomura, the director, folks. <laughs> we also had a composer, the awesome, talented Yoko Shimamura. Actually, KH Insider was kind enough to write all of the names of the people present during the panel. Nomura basically talked about the difficulty of the game and went on to talk about Union Cross slash Dark Road, how the story of Union Cross was getting close to hitting climax. From what we can see, Lorium is mad, he's upset, stuff's gonna happen. I'm not sure whether or not Ephemera is passed out or not. I believe this is when Lorium finds out something really did happen to his sister Strelitzia, especially having that weird dream with her in that white robe. Now, Nomura said, this is an important part of the story, but doesn't necessarily mean that Union Cross is going to end just yet. One interesting thing Shimamura brought up, she didn't expect Dearly Beloved to be part of the title screen originally. Crazy, I know. Dearly Beloved, in fact, was originally created for Tokyo Game Show for a trailer back in the day. But then, according to this other translation, Shimamura eventually recommended Dearly Beloved as the title screen. Nomura said yes. Originally, the song was denied for being part of the actual game. Yep, I am baffled as much as you are. Shinya Kiyozuka, the pianist, actually played a very lovely rearrangement of Dearly Beloved. He also performed Alice in Wonderland and Roxas. Shimomura was, in fact, so moved by the performance, she wanted to cry. Shinya stated, how he even loves Dearly Beloved. We all adore and love Dearly Beloved. The way he was playing, the way his fingers were moving on the piano, I was impressed. Nomura first didn't understand why he played Alice, 
in between Dearly Beloved and Roxas, but he understood later, thanks to, of course, his performance. Now, as for the meat of the showcase, it was all gameplay. Melody of Memory has three different modes of difficulty. One button press, if you're not a fan of, you know, rhythm games, if you, if you find it too hard, you have that one button option for you. Normal mode and performer. I guess you could define those as beginner, standard, and proud. You can actually switch between three difficulties when selecting the track in the world tour. Those top three icons up there seem to match this screenshot we got in early September. Now as you can see, Proud Mode begins at level 13, for example. Hazama Ichiro, producer of the game, along with Kazumi Ashizawa, what they call the game Talent, they played through local co-op called Double Play, where two people team up, you know, to play through the segment. From what I've noticed, uh, they played on two different modes, Beginner, I believe, and Proud. Proud it looks more satisfying to me because everything is more in sync, you know, pressing more buttons. Other than co-op, there is online competitive mode, or versus, from what we've seen, and there's free-for-all exclusive for Nintendo Switch users for up to 8 players. Other than difficulty modes, the game has three different modes of play as well. Field battle, world scenes, fighting heartless, you know, memory dive, playing through cutscenes, and boss battle, which is pretty self-explanatory. Nomura also stated they took time into visualizing the whole pattern of the game because they were worried about motion sickness. You can play the game over and over in order to unlock stuff in the museum, such as soundtrack, character pictures, cutscenes, and records. Lastly, the Kingdom Hearts 3 official soundtrack featuring 2.8 along with Unchained Key and Union Cross, well, they shared what looks to be the inside of the box, or the case, if you want to call it that. Eight CDs, folks, eight. If you pre-order the soundtrack alone, or with Melody of Memory as a bundle for Switch or PS4, there's currently no bundle for the Xbox version. So yeah, you get an extra Kairi CD case which will contain two rearrangements by Shimomura. Dearly Beloved, which you've all heard by now, if I'm not mistaken, and the second one will be the end credits scene. Now, pre-ordering this, you can do it on Aitakuji, of course, the Japanese version. The soundtrack, by the way, if you're curious, will have a worldwide release on November 11th. By the way, the theme of the Master of Masters is part of the soundtrack. Woo-hoo! We haven't heard it in a very long time, you know, without dialogue or the cutscene. The official name of Scala at Kylum's field battle is not Scala at Kylum, it's Edge of Existence. Sounds pretty cool to me. Yozora's theme name is in German, which caught me off by surprise. It's called Nachtflüge in German. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It translates to Nightwing. The list is officially available over on the Japanese website, by the way. If you happen to stumble upon these figures, Second Memory, well, it's from Ichiban Kuji. The figures are won through lottery. Every month, the company releases products to be won through lottery. This Kuji releases on November 4th, so this isn't gonna be a figure where you can casually just purchase it off a website. It's really tied to lottery. So with that said, this is it for the video. If you have questions, as usual, leave anything in the comment section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time.